man. So today, Sexy Red went on a rant as um reports are coming out that her sales for a new tour, her arena tour, they're kind of low. That's what they saying. Now, and as you can see, as I responded to her spaz and trying to put the pieces of the puzzle that she was painting, she retweeted my tweet because it looked like I know what the hell I'm talking about, bro. That's my tweet saying, oh, is Live Nation running the same play they ran on Lil Baby? Now, I know a lot of y'all don't like Sexy Red on my channel, but at this point in time, she like our crazy ass cousin at this point in time, bruh. She the first rapper to publicly acknowledge me, and it's like the second time she done retweeted my shit too. But let's get to the story though. So I think her team made her take down the tweet because I'm calling out Live Nation, and she she co-signed to me calling out Live Nation because the actual tweet ain't on the page no more. But y'all see when I go to my notifications, right there, she's right there. So I think a team may have made her take it down. No, I just can't see it on my end, I don't know. But here goes the deal. And there's a couple factors I wanna talk about, so hold on tight. So, reports are coming out starting yesterday, saying Sexy Red's upcoming tour is reportedly on the verge of being canceled. Only 37% of the 85,000 tickets have sold. And that comes from touring data, Blase, Blase. So she says, my fans are buying tickets, we're doing just fine. We are not canceling no tour. This canceling shit all cap. And she continues to say, this is how they try to do you when you go with the independent promoter and the bigger companies try to sabotage you. We're not canceling shit. She continues to say, I did my touring deal with a black promoter, black owned company, AG Entertainment. And now they playing dirty paying games, spreading fake news to discourage my fans from buying tickets. And this right here, you see she's promoting the tour, AG touring at the bottom. And this story may sound very similar to you. Low key behind the scenes, AG touring has been beefing with Live Nation, okay? This is like a replica of what happened last year, bro. So y'all remember these headlines, bro? Lil Baby canceled several tour dates without explanation. Fans suspect low ticket sales. So as you guys can see, and he also chose AG touring now. Of course, he was in a bidding war with Live Nation. That's who he toured with before when he did a previous arena tour. So this time around, he did another arena tour. Some people's running like, damn, is a little baby falling off? Why can't he sell out? So credits to DJ Academics for doing the work on this before. So what he broke down was that ANG Torn was going ahead and snatching these artists from Live Nation by giving them more money. But to give them more money, they had to charge more for tickets. So some audiences were coming out for that or it was slower. Due to the slower sales, Live Nation allegedly ran ad campaigns to go ahead and show Lil Baby who's boss. Like, oh, you ain't gonna work with me? I'm gonna show you that you're failing and I'm gonna go ahead and make everyone know that you're failing. Trying to basically ruin AG Touring, um, make sure they don't get a return on their investments. Trying to bankrupt, low key, trying to bankrupt the company AG Touring, which is a black owned company. Now, as you can see in response to my comment, yeah, they did the same thing to money back yo also he also chose ag touring to go on tour with now some people have this question like if, are these people arena tour artists is ag touring doing too much trying to get these folks to go on arenas tour now when Lil baby previously went on the arena tour like years before he did crazy numbers he had Lil dirt co headline with them he did 15 million on his tour and that was through live nation this is Lil dirt celebrating it and this is also Lil Baby celebrating it right here. I think it sold $15 million grosses across the whole world. And this is a little something from us to you to say thank you for everything, man. It's been a beautiful tour. What the numbers was again? Yeah. yeah. 250,000 tickets sold, $15 million gross, 23 cities, 23 cities across the country. Yeah. They say we weren't, they say we weren't gonna sell no tickets. So, as you guys can see, they are able to do arena tours, but they had those issues. Now, eventually, when when footage came out for Lil Baby's tour, he was packing things out. I don't know if every single city was packed out, but he, it seemed like it was a great tour. There's a lot of people in the crowds consistently from when we've seen the footage of it. But it's crazy that these narratives are being pushed for um, these rappers trying to go ahead and work with a black-owned company. Even though this dude with Live Nation, I'm pretty sure he doesn't own Live Nation. Like, let, Let's look up Live Nation owners. The CEO is Michael Rapino. That is definitely not a black man. This guy right here, Michael Rapino. Michael Rapino. This is the guy who runs Live Nation. All right. So, yeah, yeah. So, allegedly, by the way, you no, know, allegedly. Oh, y'all boy Drake follows him. Huh, huh, okay. Shout out to Drake following him, Live Nation people. But fittingly, you see this headline. So, Live Nation's having his own trouble. 
look at this headline. In this sprawling complaint, the government outlines evidence that Michael Rapino colluded with Oakview Group to undercut competitors and cement Ticketmaster's power. So, so they already having issues when it comes to trying to box out competitors. And um, I just read this first thing right here. The Department of Justice dropped a wide-ranging antitrust complaint against Live Nation on Thursday, highlighting more than a dozen examples of the company's anti-competitive and exclusionary behavior and accusing it of operating Live Music's largest monopoly. The evidence looks particularly bad for Live Nation's um, chief executive, Michael Rapino, whose own emails are being used against him to document the alleged threats made against competitors while the company was operating under a federal consent decree tied to its 2010 merger with Ticketmaster. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm just stumbling across this shit with just doing research. It, it ain't live, but it's damn near live because I'm just like typing as I'm recording. So I got to do more research on this to get more understanding. But it's crazy that you're getting these ac accusations from... Lil Baby last year, not directly from Lil Baby, but I'm pretty sure someone from Lil Baby's team spoke to academics and they had a conversation about what was going on with Live Nation trying to box people out from being competitors and did, using different tactics and shit. And then Money Bag Yo had an issue. And then this year we have Sexy Red with her issue. Now, the conversation is this. You have, what's going to happen is people saying, okay, Sexy Red just sold 28,000 copies first week, I believe, in that range. So people are already thinking, okay, is she falling off or not? And then you also have um, this coming up right here. So it's, it's, it's starting a narrative about her career as far as her relevance with fans and shit. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think Sexy Red is a niche artist and she has a niche audience. Now, her niche audience they do want to go out and party. So if these tickets are in a re reasonable price, they're going to show up and party, but they're more likely going to show up and party on their day of. It may not be before. I don't know. I don't know. But she isn't the problem that people think she is as far as within the music industry. She's a very dominant personality on social media. That's where she reigns supreme. And as far as how that translates into album sales, she's not at that level as far as an artist with selling wise. She's not there. Her presence is felt on social media because of her antics, her personality, her craziness, what you know her from, all that shit, the jokes and stuff. That's where she reigns supreme. So it's fitting that people will have these conversations as far as whether she's falling off or not. Me, in my opinion, she fits in exactly what she needs to be. I too was shocked when I seen that she was going on an arena tour. Um, I do think sometimes AG touring could be a little ambitious when it comes to the people that they decide to take on arena tours. But if they could figure out a way to make the numbers make sense, I, I all praises to a black company trying to do what they can. And also these, these artists are getting a bigger bag by going to black companies. So at least they're not undercutting the artists. You, you can only show love to that. Now, you guys may have your issues as far as Sexy Red outside of this shit. I get it. Have at it. But that's what I'm saying for the situation. It's a wild situation as far as the tactics being played. And the real victims in this situation right here, from what I'm seeing, is AG Torn, the black led company that's trying to go ahead and do their thing as far as being in the world of live touring for different artists and stuff. I don't like them getting shitted on allegedly by the big company. I don't like that shit. What y'all think about that? That's 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 my thoughts. That's how I care for it. Um, especially within this music industry. And y'all know how they try to box our folks out, but still try to make the most money off of us at the same damn time. But the moment you try to come up in the game, and for us to even get in the game, we gotta pay more. And then you trying to make niggas basically go bankrupt. What y'all think about that, bro? I know you may not like Sexy Red, but what you think about that? Man, let me go ahead and see if I can pull up AG Touring on Instagram. This is their page right here, AG Touring. And these are the different tours that they're promoting. They got ESTG. They got Buju, Bantan. Who else they got on this thing, bruh? Who else they got on this thing, bruh? They got Photo Dub. This dude not showing his face, but he may be the dude behind AG Touring because he's the only random guy that i'm seeing on the instagram that's not you know well known person i mean i can't even see his face from behind pause he look like gilly but um, hey that's right there man i hope these dudes able to go ahead and figure it out i glad i'm glad that they put in the money 
behind their business and trying to do their best by the artist while um while while getting them to come over there. They're not undercutting them. From what I'm hearing, they're not undercutting the artists to get them come work work with a black business. They're giving them more money to come work with a black business. Oh yeah, Rod Wave did a tour with them too. He did a tour with them, but Rod Wave, you can't play with them. You can't play with him. Um, his audience is so crazy and so um so 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 cult. I don't know if they tried to run the narratives, but anytime Rod Wave going tour, that shit do crazy numbers. But hey man, y'all gotta let me know what y'all gotta say in the comment section below. I'm going to get about here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.